little hockey here in the desert southwest. Yeah, thank you for having me. Welcome to uh, the desert southwest. Have you been out here before, before you came out here to become an ASU student? Uh, yeah, I came out here to visit, and then I just fell in love with it. It's really nice out here, honestly. So this is the first time you've been to the desert? Uh, yeah. So tell me a little bit about playing hockey here at ASU and at Oceanside particularly. Um, it's a it's a really nice rink. Like it's really branded well. I like the atmosphere here. The first game we had was really packed, and um, it's just really fast. Like college hockey is a lot faster than I thought it would be, but it's a good adjustment. It's fun. So you guys have had a chance to play a few games now. The season's still very early, but you've had a chance to see GCU and some competition like that. So what do you think of the competition as far as uh, the way hockey is playing today? Um, so far, I heard the Arizona teams are tough, but I think we're a good team too. So I think it'll be once we get our chemistry going and our once we get rolling, it'll be a lot better. Talk about growing up in New York. What kind of hockey did you play there, and when did you get started? All that good stuff. Um, I played pretty high level hockey up there. It's East Coast hockey is really good, and that's why it's not too hard of an adjustment for me for college because it, it's really just the same kind of hockey, just faster, and the kids are a lot older. And you're a freshman. What are you going to be studying here in Arizona State? Uh, I'm studying uh, business communication. Um, if you don't go to the NHL, let's assume that. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, after the NHL, I'll, my dad uh, um, works at UPS, and I'm going to follow him, something like that, and just a business career. So for those that don't know, tell us a little bit about hockey in the East and New York. What's it, what's, what's it like? What's the, the competition like? What's the teams that you've played like? Um, they have a lot of like really high-level AAA teams in like, the New Jersey Avalanche, New Jersey Hitmen. Um, New Jersey Rockets, like Jersey's really big, and that's where I played. And, and New York is the same way. Like the the level is just really high. Just Boston is there on the East Coast, and that's really they're really good. Um, Connecticut's good, and so like the the area of play is just so high level. So. so when you play hockey in the desert Southwest, and obviously now you have a chance to travel a little bit because yeah. you guys don't have a whole lot of Um, I know Nationals is sometimes in like Chicago or stuff for teams, but we would go to from New York to Connecticut to Jersey to Delaware to Pennsylvania, so it's always a maximum three hour ride. Right. So now you get to experience NAU, you get to go down and uh, play some California teams. You make a road trip very soon, I'm sure, up to, uh, up to Colorado and Utah for the, the Beehive and stuff like that. So yep. are you excited about the travel part of it? Uh, I am excited because I never really traveled too, too far for hockey, and going as a team is always more fun, just to spend time with your boys and stuff. Tell me a little bit about your style of play on the ice. What do you like to do? What do you, where do you like to make an impact? Um, I think I'm a pretty – I like to use my speed a lot, and I am a bigger guy, so I like to use that to my advantage, not necessarily hitting too much, but, like, just – I'm a bigger guy, like rubbing kids out. Like I have a good shot, like uh, but speed's my game. What's the adjustment been like for you uh, with your new teammates? And you need to to the school here in the desert. Only to touch the any issues or everything's gone pretty smoothly. Uh, everything's gone pretty smoothly. I met the right people, and then obviously hockey's been a big, big help with all the coaches and just like easing you into the the new lifestyle. Like I moved across the country to play here, so it's been really good actually. Um, yeah, the first game we played was absolutely packed. Like, it was it was actually awesome. Like, you never get that at games back home. It's always moms. Like, but here it was students and even GCU having their student section there was pretty cool. Just it was just another level of atmosphere. And I do like the the smaller rink, even though I'm not sure how the NCAA team feels about the smaller rink. <laughs> Get into that national tournament and make some noise? 
I think we can get into the national tournament. We have like a really good group of guys. We just really need to blend as a group. We have a lot of individual talent, and once we get clicking, we'll we'll be good. And I'm I'm sure we'll make the national tournament for sure. Thank you very much.